Uh oh. Uh oh. When uh -oh. did Pokey have an Enderman? I think everybody has an Enderman at this point, except what? me. Bruh, I didn't even buy the DLC. Like, I'm, I'm, uh, bruh. Honestly, oh, well. We'll be seeing how it pans out here against Cobra's Mario in this game one. 15 seconds in, no one's taking any damage, but Pokelamp already with the iron tools. Uh, finals has two ends, right? No. Computer's Final. tongue has two. If it has two ends, it would be finals. Okay, gotcha. My computer's just being dumb. All right, there we go. Fix. Sorry about that, Ramen. Anyways, looks like we're coming into this. Cobra's already down at 79. <laughs> Struggling to get into the Pokemon. Once again, Pokemon proving why they're the one with the bounty and not Cobra. Because keep in mind, Cobra is third seeded. After you account for DQs, Cobra will be second, actually. Well, who DQ'd? Um, uh, no, Dot. It's, uh, what was, his, what was the name? Hang on. I remember they were like a really big player that ended up DQing out, which is very sad. Hungry Box? No. Not H Box. It was, uh. Frick, I'm not smart. Oh, Pokelin with the diamond weapons, but gonna be taking a combo oh, here from Cobra. Yeah, it was that uh, white. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they're playing in the other thing today with like ANG. Yeah. It's like the end that I kinda popped off after realizing it was M because my cedar kinda broke like halfway, didn't show me it was M. It said 90% win rate, however, less than 50 games played, and I got really confused. But what? The insanely, the Pokemon has oh! to start. They no longer have. That's a solid trade. Takes the first stock from the Enderman. That is an insanely solid trade. However, standard Steve strats are gonna be going up. The moment you lose that stock, that's when you get Diamond Tools out. However, 38% already. Looks like Cobra's wanting to hold this lead even with Diamond Tools on deck. It's fun. Get fun's gonna save him, yo. Missing the forward smash, it's just gonna sit there in the minecart for a second, take a breather. Setting Ouch. up the TNT, that was a really good setup, forcing the hit from the uppy to trigger the pressure plate. Absolutely, however... Forced, forced error. Even stocks, however, Cobra did get it on that threshold of lead to one or two neutral interactions, and I think Cobra actually has this lead down. Now we've gotten to 75, however, bit of a random update. I noticed that Yeet Smash themselves followed us. Like five days ago, so that's right cool. at the end. Right at, at the, the end. end. That's my that's my luck. They had a full year to do it, and then they chose exactly then. Let's freaking go, dude! <laughs> Whoa! What? Slowly walking back, Cobra. Yo, did he just slowly walk up and up tilt? Yo, let's freaking go, dude! But see, so that's one thing I've seen. Cobra's an insanely good Mario player. However, he gets way too cocky, and we've seen him throw games almost set as we saw last set. And that, that kill look at, this zero, look at this zero to death on Pokeland right now. Was, zero two to zero percent one. That was oh, not a zero death, but whatever. But still, full stock up now. Barry even taking a hit himself. Solid combo there. Was Tex on the platform, getting away from these power mine carts. Trying to get in, but no, gets hit by shield. Now sticking on, sticking on right platform. So the Pokemon just kind of hitting that A button, trying to throw out as many hitboxes as they can. But only wood tools on deck. Pokemon has not had a single chance to go resource gathering. Didn't Couldn't even get a full thing out of that. That's one, two. Cobra has so much pressure coming on. The man knows exactly where to place his fire both where to, where to throw it back. And this man knows it all. Absolutely. This is absolute sheer aggression. Not giving Pokelam any room, any time. And he's only got one iron on deck right now. That footstool going to put him in a tech situation. Like, get I've up never seen it. I've never seen a Steve's inventory so empty. Even after going up, looks like Cobra's gonna let him actually do stuff for once. But finally, Diamond's on deck. Looks like Cobra actually has something to fight for. However, last stock, he's gonna have to get back to his crafting table if he wants to mine anything. And looks That's like not gonna happen yet. So it's all the way out there looking for the edge guard. And Pokemon's there gonna it is! No! Nope. Catches no nope. Mario back air, just not strong enough. Pokemon, I'm gonna have one more chance at life. Tries to punch through that minecart, but Cobra just barely get out of the way. Landing back here, sending Cobra off the stage. Tries to knock out that block with the fireball, but a nice back, back throw. Up. So long, Enderman. Nope. Not nice. Why? Mario's throws don't kill. However, he's stuck up in the air on the elytra. Can so they land? So, but bad spot dodge. They cannot land the spot dodge. Going to get caught by the lingering hitbox. And Cobra with a two-stock victory. No. Yeah, it's going to be Pokemon. Pokemon, I'm going to be switching back to the trademark villager here, going to town and city. A little bit more space. Cobra's going to have to work really hard to approach here, but 
Hoka then looking to already take the center. Retreats a little back to the right side. Throws out that Lloyd. Cobra going to have to readapt here to this excess of projectiles that Villager has. Once again, getting the throw game on thing. Is this is Villager? I believe Mario... Does, what, does Mario have a better matchup against Villager? I don't know. It... Definitely, I would say it definitely is Mario favored because Villager just cannot box Mario really up close as we're seeing here. However, Villager, has, shots. Yeah, Villager has neutral air, which is kind of a fast get off me option, but Mario also has that except faster. So reflecting the Lloyd going to send Pokemon right off the stage. Fire Order has pretty much every tool needed, but sending off the stage. Nice fireball oh! back to and okay, the side kill. blast zones. Yeah, the side blast zones of town and city can be much smaller than those on other stages. So that back here, gonna take the stock. Hopefully, get that excellent pivot grab, sending Cobra off the stage. Back air. Still, still stuck. Oh, up he's through the bowling ball. Man, what, you were, yep. what were you saying earlier? What are they making these bowling balls out of? They're making them out of styrofoam. Uh, that would definitely has a styrofoam. Yeah, villagers bowling ball. As hard as it may hit, has just doesn't just has just about as much priority on it as a bayonetta smash attack. Just about anything can clink it out, including that Mario upbeat. And that's gonna be definitely it. Even with those tall top blasts of that up smash, those Fourth of July fireworks, as you said a few weeks ago, are going to kill. And Cobra just didn't shield the void. Okay, is he okay? Taking the here, but the up throw up airs on the platform looking for an extension. The Pokelam mixing up that DI just enough that Cobra's not gonna be able to comfortably get that combo. Still stuck in the air though. Cobra's looking to catch this landing, nares through the Lloyd. Again, kind of low priority on these projectiles. Directional air dodge away. Cobra not ready for it, and Pokelam back in their own little corner. But Cobra just continuously positioning himself above Pokelam, keeping away from the forward air and the Lloyd's nice grab. Throws off the stage. Nice clink on the fireball to the forward what air. Looks like, what it looks like pokemon has been doing recently is playing a lot more mid-game than up close or extremely long. Because due to those slingshots, due to that wood rock, due to those trees, Villager has mid-game of Mario down because Mario has literally no range except for fireball. But his he has, like, the closest dish when he has his back here, and even then, it's barely. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, Villager is definitely strongest at the mid-range because that's where you can kind of sort of hit the strong spot before barely he's in back. Once again, Just Cobra. Like Oh, no, not a lot. No double jump. That's why he air dodged. No jump. Yeah, when you have no jump, Romario's recovery does get a little weaker. 38 off the tree forward air. Little. He practically Cobra. relies on it, dude. Cobra looking for another way in. Lloyd takes the hit. Pockets the fireball. The tree is up. One hit oh, on it. Oh, no! Is not ready for it. Pokelamp sneaking in that second axe, and Cobra will fall prey to the bot. Team Trees in the chat. Once every 45 searches on Ecosia plants one tree in the real world, make sure to change your Bowser to Ecosia, because my, because your tree could be the one that just took Cobra's, that just took the game over Cobra. I call it that, but the fact that the same thing is just being 1-1 one, one on the best 5. It could just be 0-0 oh, oh, on a best of 3. You know what? We got Smashville coming... Uh, Smashville. Town and City coming up today. It's a Saturday night, so I'm surprised we don't see KK Slider already. Not quite well. It is on the Eastern Seaboard. Oh, didn't it get the full hop! Not quite. Yeah, not quite going to get that. Oh, the cape. <laughs> Flipping Villager around, but the Lloyd Rocket going to connect. Nonetheless, Pokeland with a major deficit here of 85. This multi jab not gonna be safe on Shield and Cobra. If that were sweet spot, that, <laughs> that was, was dead. That was that was only a little bit funny. Only a little bit. Just a tad. So attack from Cobra there, but avoiding the jab block. You don't want to get jab blocked online because not only is it stylish, it's a little bit embarrassing. It is. So Pokemon gonna be at about a hundred percent deficit here. Cobra got that early damage, but Pokemon four off that. Hit. Dang. Pokelam turtling center, looking to just chip on a little bit more damage, and Cobra gonna fall prey to a couple more of these hits. But Pokelam all of a sudden stuck in the air themselves. Nice reverse pocket, but Cobra ready for it. Off the stage is Pokelam. Cobra is gonna try to seal this edge guard. Not just quite, fishing. not ready to commit to that under the stage. Just trying to fish for this kill, however, can't seem to find anything. And Cobra may have to start switching the live bait because that plastic buoy ain't doing him any favors. Not quite. Yeah, the Lloyd not really that effective in the Mario matchup, especially if Cobra starts disrespecting it. Like I was saying earlier with there. Madison, has to start for there to be a hitbox. Got saved by platform there just like that. Pokemon in advantage for a split second before Cobra comes in with the landing there. 
Reflexive Lloyd now trying to go for a back air. Poke on Suckle Ledge until he double jumps to mid platform. That's going to be down. It doesn't shield Poke though, just barely. That shield is hanging there it is, on though. by a thread, but back air to the face will take that first stock. Cobra with a stock lead on town and city. He's going to start looking for another grab here to get some high damage. Yeah, just barely, but because 70% on this stage means you are at kill percent. And Villager has enough kill power to back that up, especially with these blast zones. Especially with Mario's weight, especially with this percent, especially with just everything going on. But thing is, that was only the first stock. We only got four minutes left on the clock. This game is just going on. I think Pokemon is trying to fatigue Cobra out. Just make, to just try and get him to throw it a few stupid things, take advantage of him, get the stocks. Speaking of stupid thing, that's going to be an axe to the face. Chop, chop away. Villager going to steal that stock. 8 to 37. You're definitely not wrong talking about the clock, because we saw that earlier. Pokemon ran the clock against uh, the Sonic player earlier. So it's definitely not out of the question, but Cobra's aggression is not ready to let that happen. Right now, Pokoam is trying to be everywhere at the end of time. However, we still have two stocks on deck, 20, 39 out of 54. No conversion off that. Cobra able to get himself out of there, back to neutral. However, he's just struggling to get in due to these uh, hit you just see hitboxes that Pokemon throwing out the slingshots and everything. That's the main thing that Mario struggles against in this matchup, which makes me think this is more even than Mario favored. Oh, it definitely could be. I mean, I'm not 100% knowledgeable about this matchup. I just know that Mario grabs you and you take 100, as Cobra has been doing quite a few times here. But one hit on the tree on the left side, Pokemon sitting behind it, seeing if he can catch Cobra slipping again, as we saw last game. Cobra wising up, adapting, sitting on that platform, throwing some fireballs, and the tree is now out of play. Pokelamp got to find another way to force Cobra to make a mistake. Also, fun fact, fireball, I believe fireballs do instantly explode Lloyd, as they are a fire-based uh, hitbox. That is true, yes, I can confirm that. Yeah, so that means Mario, as you said earlier, can really disrespect Lloyd, not just with fireball, but with cape as well. So that means, yeah, Lloyd is kind of useless, except it's just a little distracting tool to maybe do something like that. Get him distracted on Lloyd while you put them in a bad position to get a slingshot up from. But it's a dead even game now. Stuck out Ledge able to get the jump over the up air. Now Cobra holding dead center stage until a DVZ happens. Now both players still alive. Pokemon stuck on left until he takes center, but no hopping back after the Lloyd dispatch. That's going to be up. The I'm surprised Cobra won that. Wow. That was Fun. some of the best neutral play against a villager I have seen in a very long time. Punishing that option with the up smash. Mario just going to classically take that stock. Pokeland, last stock of game three. Looks like that $5 is really on Cobra's mind right now. Like a mini recall. And there's the effort, able to catch the fireball, trying to go above 11%. Cobra unable to get too much mileage. Now, Pokoam, two minutes, 22 seconds on stock. The timeout is possible. However, it's going to be hard as Mario has a solid amount of mobility, and I don't think Cobra's one to be timed out. Yeah, that immediate damage, but the triple fair, the triple fair. Gonna oh, damage just damage barely here. squeezing under. Yep, just trying to hug that ledge there because the bowling ball does drop straight down. So Cobra can hug that ledge as they've been doing. Wait so for it! There. Just right. missing the forward air though, but Pokemon I'm going to take some massive damage from that reflected uh, Lloyd Rocket. Duck in the air, a minute 50 on the clock. Pokeland looking for a way down, trying to catch Cobra slipping with a couple of these bowling balls, but not quite going to grab it. Jumping around with these neutral airs, trying to trade or anything Cobra's trying to throw out, but that's a back air. Cobra's at the ledge now. It's exactly where Pokeland wants them. Bit of a fun fact, if Mario decides to cape a, cape a bowling ball, it actually does hit Villager, I do believe. So it's straight up better than a counter. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, Villager's in enough end lag that any reflector is going to... I think it kills Villager at like 25 or something. It's crazy. Back air? It definitely kills at 130, I can say that. Yeah, yeah there's that interaction between the Fireball and the Lloyd, the instant explosion. Very similar to the uh, the Minecraft TNT. Went for it, just barely out of range, though. Getting blocked on a forward throw. Cobra, is he going to take the platform? Is he going to take the platform? Not quite. Opting to kind of go for the water instead. This time, Cape, though, that's going to be good for Pokemon as he can actually get back on stage without worrying of being ledge trap. Going to have a tree set up right now, just trying to approach, making the stage a bit smaller using that tree, preventing Cobra from accessing part of the stage. So that tree goes away. Now that space is open. Right now, Cobra back at center stage. Exactly. Back here, oh, hang no. on a minute. Is that down smash. You're going to get hit. Not quite. Excellent evasion from Cobra. Right that, now, one... That's that not it, though. That's not it. No, definitely not. Not from center. 186, but with 30 seconds left on the clock. And the way that Pokemon is abusing Rage in this tournament, it might that, be time. What was that? 
Hello, Hitbox! It's 23 seconds on the clock, and Mario just got a little bit fatter! Absolutely, yeah, I was just saying it might be time for Cobra to consider a timeout here with 20 seconds, but, uh... Uh, nope, he'd rather go for the down air, and it works out right there, killing it a high 190. After this set, I want to look at that re- I want to look at that insert replay, because that hitbox seemed a little bit questionable. ZM and I did this last week, and it turned out that Charizard- up Eventually about to get this $5 bounty placed on Pokelam's head. However, we're- However, we do indeed have put PlayStation 2 on deck. We'll see how this turns up for either of our players right now. Pokemon right now playing for this $5 because Cobra doesn't want to give it up. Even if Cobra wins this, he's guaranteed to make at least 18. That's true. Yeah, definitely prize pots coming into play here. But right now, we also got Lloyd's coming into play. As Pokemon back goes Cobra back off the stage, places the tree at the ledge. Uh, Cobra still looking for a way in here, but Pokelam obviously gonna play a little that bit more defensive. Stylish push conversion. Advantage. Wow. Pushes advantage just enough. Oh, the tree and the, the axe. axe. That, man, that man's stock got axe, just like my position at Cobra's. Actually, I'm kidding. I still work there. It's lovely. Confirms that tree hit stun into the axe right there. Had Cobra. The only picked added. up the wood shit by mistake, preventing it from continuing the combo. What kind of gameplay is Pokelam playing? Uh, very differently from the last two games, and it looks like it's very much working out for them. But Cobra taking advantage here. Is he going to push we it far? Air. Not with no. Not with until back air hit the L. Not going to take the L, as I always say. Excellent tech from Pokelam putting the L in Pokelam. Actually putting a W in it. My bad. Pokewham. Pokewham. Wham. Dedicated Pokewham. Smash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's a dedicated amount of Pokewam? Pokewam, come And Fusion cut out. Hello, Fusion? Are you there? Brother, are you okay? Brada! Brada! I think ZB Fusion has died. Anyways, back to solo commentary. Thank God he's gone. Am I right? 168 right now. Cobra is stocked down, but 168 only at 53%. 66. Yeah, that's about the threshold right now. Pokemon has a serious lead. Strong at Nair is not going to kill yet. Just kind of going for this. Once again, ZB Fusion is still cut out on my end. I would recommend leaving and rejoining the call. I actually think his internet may have gone out. Or he accidentally refreshed Discord and his computer is slow. There it is. There's a jab bait. Able to get the double jump back here. Baiting out that jab, but 70%. Pokemon has a very solid lead going on right now. But thing is, this is Mario versus Villager, which means all Mario, all this Mario needs, all Cobra needs is just one grab, one solid up air, and one read. That was definitely an accidental pivot. That happens to me all the time with a bit of with a bit of a split back on the stick. Really annoying, especially as a grappler. Oh, to be fair, Mario can do everything. He, he does play a lot of crap. Oh, um, I think. But Cobra must have forgotten the sprout was there. Got the plant on it and straight up Cobra died. Pokemon maybe taking this game after all. Now up a full stock. Yeah, ZB Fusion has simply died from the VC. His internet has gone out. F's in the chat for ZB Fusion, folks. F's in the chat. There's the roll read downward angle on that smash, but those downward angles, so it's not gonna kill. Going deep, trying to get the backer. Hits a balloon, hits a balloon again. Pokelam right now alive by the skin of his teeth. 51% able to get the reflect on the Lloyd, but no, the tree grew just in time to protect Pokelam from it. Right now, Cobra needs to stop now or never, or else he's never gonna, or else the chance of him taking this game have gone down a lot. Right now, Pokelam just doing Super Bowl and staying alive, but 114 after the back, they're going for this kill, but no, Mario's, ki Mario's back though, very rarely kills. That's gonna be Bowling Ball, didn't even see that one coming. Pokemon's now going to make this a 2-2. We're going to see Game 5, folks, on the Bounty Hunt. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Okay. Sorry, there's a storm, and it must have knocked something loose. All right, well, welcome back to the call, ZB Fusion. Let me know if you need if you need me to turn down the quality of Discord so you can actually see what's going on. Oh, no, I see it. Fine. There's just a storm, so it must have knocked something out Hell yeah. for a brief second. But we are back, and it looks like we're in game five now. What yeah, a miss! Pokemon won. He actually had a, Pokemon had a lead and actually won. But the problem. Wait a minute! Pokemon let Cobra take him to Battlefield. What are you doing? This is Mario. You don't take Mario to Tri Plats. You don't do that. It's, At least it's not Yoshi's. Could it could be worse? <laughs> but only by one stage. 
But once again, just because Mario's on battlefield, that means he's already having the lead just by default. Even the moment that game starts. Oh my god, there's a bowling ball! Downer, is that gonna take it? Nope, ba Battlefield has, has taller top blast on not as tall as town and city though, but still pretty tall. Yeah, Battlefield having some of the widest, definitely one of the higher ceilings in the game. Both characters gonna be looking for side kills, except for Mario, cause you know, Mario. But Pokelamp kinda of hiding behind the tree again here, looking to force Cobra to approach. Landing with Nair with a stuff out, up smash just fine, but right now Pokemon is straight up standing still. And the oh! bait on the axe, able to get the shootout in time even with network latency. That means Cobra had to ever read him exactly when he's doing that. Able to get the up smash out, and that is going to be the stock lead for Cobra. However, this is Martin's t on tripods, which basically means you start 50% down. Absolutely, and Pokelab kind of suffering from that right now at 30%. Cobra deciding a couple more up airs, trying to use that platform, but just barely misses. Pokelam's DI has been on point this entire set. Back here, that's going to be definitely... I was expecting down throw up air, but no, back throw may get a more mileage to the 60%. Mario doesn't have a lot of throw combos. But throwing him off stage, potentially getting an Edgard is, I think, the best thing to do. I believe Mario gets his combos off his down tilt now. However, mm -hmm. once you're dead, there's nothing to get a combo off of until you come down from the Halo platform. A shield locking with that Lloyd Rocket getting that back throw. Pokelam, of course, showing that pristine character knowledge there with the shield lock, but still at a 90% deficit. Got quite a ways to go, but this up smash combo might be the good way to start it out. Shoots the Lloyd, gets reflected, and Cobra suiting himself to the middle of the stage right here, right now. Trying to go for a scrubby roll behind grab. Not going to work, though, as Pokelam is an extremely experienced player. But this is coming down to the wire. Pokelam versus Cobra. Welcome back to Super Smash Galaxy 32. This is close. In there, but no Pokemon getting back an advantage. Now up to 53, but down is going to land from Cobra. Trying to get the backer. There's actually going to be the backer. Pokemon not enough time to react. That's going to be a stock up. Ew. As you said, Cobra right now on the verge of taking this bounty. However, Pokemon is not giving up without a fight. Absolutely not, but one wrong move at this percent. And Mario is going to send you flying to the heavens. Kova. Cobra is hungry for this kill. The Pokelam still only 56 on Cobra has got to find a way in and just the defensive play is not working anymore and Pokelam struggling to find a way in on Cobra. God, it's gonna be so close. Right now, Pokelam can't get the stock up. If not, it's not gonna be close if Pokelam can't take this. Now, Cobra with this super big lead. Chipping away with just a couple extra back ears there. Pokemon, nice neutral air, forces attack Down situation. Down smash, hang on a minute! Didn't get Down smash. Yup, read the air dodge, down smash, F smash, game and watch style, but the Nair gonna clank the tree, shields the axe there. Cobra getting another back throw, but opts to back off rather than pushing advantage. Oh, oh I guess there was a tree there. I don't know. We don't know these players' decision methods. All we can really do is comment on them. However, it's coming down to the wire right now. Pokemon needs to take this stock now. Whenever that Burrow is his best bet, but didn't get it. But he didn't have enough time to charge to go behind or use up smash instead. True, Cobra kind of knowing that they have this large lead, going for a few extra kill moves, but it's getting them punished here and there. Pokelam chipping away at Cobra's percentage here. He's getting a little bit of damage here and there, not overextending like Cobra's ready for him to. But is it going to be enough in time? Already at 107, just about anything will kill your 117. Cobra going to look for a fireball. Not quite. Hit by Pokemon. Lloyd, though. Pokelam stuck at the ledge, stuck on the platform in shield. Parry. Nice parry. Nice parry. The tree, tree is here. Ledge. The axe will definitely take a stock here. Pokemon's Trying to gonna... go for grabs. What's Cobra doing? Yeah. Trying to read something. Cobra's been trying to be flashy this entire tournament here. Paid off for him in some places and not in others, but this is not the situation you want to be trying to bad get. Bad air dodge! That's going to be back here. Just barely. That's going to be. Hang on a minute. Pokemon yeah, about. No jump. No jump. Pokemon this is last stock here. This is not. Pokemon is not out of this. Finding that exploit off stage, Cobra having no jump. And all of a sudden, Cobra finding themselves in this back last stock. Pull it back here. Not going to take the stock. Just a little stale from throwing it out of neutral one too many times. But Pokelam still stuck at a ledge against this Lloyd, and he gets a grab, grab, forward throw, no, back, back throw. Back throw super stale, though. I would probably stop using that thing. 
tactically got to save it for kills. Let me go for a cross up roll here in a second. 162. Yeah, you saw him fish for it. Down air. And that's going to be a Cobra there. taking the bounty. Oh, bounty. I had to show it because that was a fresh stock. That back air was actually fun. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. But Cobra finally being the one and only player that can take that bounty of Pokemon. Cobra's now going to come home from this event. $5 richer no matter if he gets.